Cape Town, South Africa, I'd have to say has been one of my favorite cities in my travels. It's also known as the mother city due to the fact that it was the first site of European settlement in the country of South Africa. So today we'll be going into where I stayed, what I did, you know, things I enjoyed while being in Cape Town. And a little bit later in the video, we'll be talking about no other than Joburg. All right, so while in Cape Town, I stayed at this lovely place. This place was called Wex One. It was in Woodstock. Now, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about Woodstock. Woodstock is a very, very lively place. Uh, and I mean lively in the sense of it was a lot going on right outside my hotel. I saw a lot of stuff, which I won't mention here. All I'll say is if you stay or choose to go to this hotel, I would recommend not going outside past 10 o'clock if you don't have to. All right, so moving a little bit further on, as you can see in the background of the video, man, you can always see the mountain table mountain. <sighs> beautiful as it is man you could take table cars to the top or you can just drive by and see it from all angles while frequenting through the city for me personally i did both i took the cable car up i would recommend you bring in a jacket because if you don't depending on where you go you may freeze to death and yes i said freeze because it does get really cold in south africa especially when you're in places like cape town where it's surrounded by water nonetheless I really enjoyed long drives like this, man. It was really scenic and it gets quiet. You could really lose yourself. I'm not joking. You could really lose yourself. You could just go out there and drive and forget you're driving. It's so scenic. And they also have a bunch of little places along the side of the road where you can park. So if you want to get out, take some pictures, some snapshots, some videos, man, you can do that. Cape Town, for me, I don't know it just gives me a home feeling it, it just reminds me a lot of the states and i personally like it. it you know not saying that it's better than any of the other cities there's so many great cities I, i've been all through south africa but i'm just gonna say this is actually one of my favorite cities you know not saying it's better than this one or that one but it's definitely one of my favorites here you can get a nice close-up where the water also is a different hue than it would be, let's say, in places like Sunset Beach. The water out here, especially on a sunny day, will be nice and blue. All right, so from this angle, you can see another view of the beautiful mountain and just a bunch of, you know, little houses down below that aren't really so little. You know, when you're watching it from this angle, they just seem to be so tiny. But as you can see yet again for my travelers you can actually rent a car or buy a car and drive through south africa without having to worry about man i didn't get to see this or hey man i had to uber everywhere it's actually quite easy to rent a car and you can do such and have a nice road trip throughout the country man stopping where you please seeing what you want to see doing what you want to do when you want to do it man look at this background how nice is this man these houses aren't that outrageous you know the pricing is quite reasonable if you think about the location so i'm gonna give y'all a little break and then we're gonna hop into joe bird ah uh, johannesburg also known as a city that doesn't sleep <laughs> in my opinion right all right so johannesburg is the home to kingston one of the oldest suburbs in Joburg and the largest suburb in the city became popular in the mining fraternity and it's also houses the storage schools both Jeppy boys and girls all right so when it comes to Joburg I have a special place in my heart for Joburg uh, for me personally it's just a mecca of just excellence I really enjoy the life of Joburg and living in Joburg and experiencing how people move throughout Joburg but it can be a very pricey city I would say Joburg has the infrastructure of New York but the people have the mindset of California so you know it's luxury lifestyle lavish living you know gated communities many cities self-sufficient areas 
And then you have places like this, man, where everybody can come and meet as one, man. This place, Four Ra or, sorry, Four Ways, aka the farmers market, man, was a vibe for sure, man. Uh, it was it was wild, man. I, I feel like everybody should experience this once. Like I've been to some farmers markets back in the states, and it was never like this. This was a jam. They had the Amapiano popping off, man. They had great food, great drinks, like homemade lemonade, all type of stuff, man. It was just something to actually, you know, see for yourself, I would say. So when it comes to Joburg, uh, people always ask me, man, is Joburg safe? I heard this about Joburg. I heard that about Joburg. And I'm like, man, you can experience drama anywhere. I would say if you find trouble where you from you'll probably find trouble here you know i i don't think trouble comes out and look for people but if you just trouble prone you know <laughs> that's just the life you live i wouldn't say anything jumped out to me you know per se like oh man watch out for this watch out for that uh like i you know like i mentioned in you know earlier as far as you know being in woodstock after a certain time or in certain areas you know but that's just anywhere you go any any country you travel to any city uh any place you can you know being out at the wrong place at the wrong time something could happen to you i just you know just a little heads up so when it comes to Joburg, it's definitely it's definitely definitely a thriving mecca for business man it, it's it's a place where you can go and experience all sorts of things i would say if it came down to just trying to go somewhere and live the fast city life while being in south africa i would definitely recommend johannesburg it's really diverse you know a bunch of cultures to experience a bunch of foods to taste and just a bunch of things to see as you can see in this video right here a lot of people are still wearing their masks at the time of this video it was still you know a mandate to have the mask so it wasn't something that was a necessity but you know in certain areas when it was overcrowded like this they were you know like hey you should probably wear your mask so don't be afraid to come like oh they're still wearing mask i'm so tired of the mask nah man you don't have to worry about that right now so as we speak on johannesburg let's go ahead and just take a, a glimpse at what what it has to offer So, all right guys and girls we are approaching the end of the video remember to like and subscribe comment down below if you have any questions or anything that you would like to see also be sure to click the link in the description below and check out one of the travel guides that i have on numerous amounts of countries just check out from countries all the way to east africa south africa etc so make sure to click that link in the description and check out one. I respect your privacy. I wanna go. Yo, hey yo, bust my name.